Hello and welcome to another episode of No Man's Sky. I am Blood Raven 56 and this is episode 14. Hello everybody, welcome back. We are once again starting to do the uh or continuing on the uh the missions. Or the yeah, the story mission we left off on. We needed to learn uh something about a portal from this monolith. Let's learn a few words first. Come on. We learned the word for probability. And we learn success. The probability of success is what? Welcome. All right. Have I got an empty space in the inventory? Good, good. Anomaly, anomaly, anomaly. I see the stone of the monolith. It's immovable, muted silver. And yet, something lurks beneath. It is a gray, and yet, or it is gray, and yet not gray. A crimson calling out from somewhere below its cool surface. Locate portal. So, is the portal over there? Yes, it is. Four hours away if I were to walk. That would be a long walk, and I am not walking that far. Hey, look, we got some buried tech here. May as well pick that up. And we got more. Cool. I always love it when there's two of them right on top of each other. Just got eight salvage tech. That's good. Hop in the wings of death. And head on over to this portal. Which appears to be eight minutes away by flying. So, I'm gonna go into space. Cut that down. Hope everyone's day has been well. The day I'm recording this happens to be New Year's Eve. I don't have anything planned for New Year's, so... Thought may as well record some. And by the time this video comes out on YouTube, New Year's will have already come and gone, so hopefully anybody who is watching this will have had a safe and fun New Year's. And I have located the portal in my planet that I live on. That's always handy. Hey little animal guys. Alright, portal time. I don't have all the glyphs though. Hey, there's another one of those dance guys. What's up, man? Rawr. At least you don't want to eat me. Charge all of these up. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Do I even have Technology enough stuff recharge. to do it? That is the question. I should. Technology recharge. 
Looks like I will. Technology recharge. Last one is the dinosaur, the diplo. Up, oh, I missed one. The teepee looking thing. Oh, good lord. Traveler, capture loop enabled. Anomaly event contained. That sounds ominous. The portal seems to beg me as I approach, demanding my attention. It requires me to activate it. It requires me to travel on. I am unsure if I should listen. Request this planet's address. And that is the portal glyphs to my uh, planet. If anyone wants to visit, that's it. Leave that up for a second longer. Let you guys take a screenshot if you want. Alright. So. Relay the portal glyphs to Apollo at the hollow terminus. Okay. Hollow terminus is where? Other side of planet looks like. Nineteen minutes away by flying. That's a bit farther than I want to fly and whatnot. So, space time. Oh, I wonder what Apollo is going to say. Man, this storm is uh, kind of thick. And not in a good way. Hey, we got one of those dang bastards over there. Let's kill it. Discover the sector. Protect flats. We got a word over here we can learn. What is the word? Take a guess. Let's see. We learned welcome, probability, and come on, goldfish brain. You can remember, you can remember. Welcome, probability. I don't remember. <laughs> Advance. Well, I couldn't even remember three words from probably not even five minutes ago. <laughs> That's bad. Alright, let's see what these words are. Busy. Calm. Alright, so busy, calm, and that one was... Oh, crap. <laughs> Did I seriously forget that one that fast? Oh my god, I did. Busy calm. Um, that one was... Oh man. I'm probably going to hear about it in the chats. <laughs> uh, dumb goldfish brain. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. The tower hosts a powerful transmitter designed to facilitate holographic communication across long distances. Tune to Apollo. Hey Apollo. Hopefully Null doesn't show up somewhere. 
Have you found the glyphs for your world? I am almost ready. My suit is upgraded. My stomach is full. I have, and I've hired a geck to look after my farm while I'm away. Your stomach is full? You kind of look like a robot. Uh, ask about the farm. What kind of farm you got? Yes, I have a farm. What of it? It's not much. Mostly fruit I found on my travels. But I'm hoping to expand. Anyway, this is no concern of yours. We have a portal to attend to, do we not? Yes, we do, Apollo. But I'm just trying to learn some stuff about you. So I can know if I can trust you or not. Because Artemis was telling me not to trust someone. As I look at Apollo, I think of all that I saw within the portal of what happened to Artemis when they walked through that same path. I think of the face of the Atlas, of the way Nada warned me not to return to those tunnels. I do not know if the portals are safe. Give Apollo the glyphs. I wonder what happened if I refuse. I don't think I've ever done that. I give Apollo the glyphs, asking them to take care, to remember what happened to Artemis. They assure me that they will, promising to see me soon. Before I go, they advise me to find out what I can from this so-called knoll. They warn me to be careful. Oh, you don't have to warn me, Apollo. I'm being careful with knoll. Ah, fucker. You just keep showing up out of nowhere without being called. Why? I don't like that. Two lost souls. One who cared too much. One who cared too little. Their lives have not become what was promised, have they? And you are talking about who? Two lost souls, not in Polo? Maybe? I don't know. Every sentient being has that ever, or that has ever lived has felt that way at some point. I know I did, once upon a time. I was angry, confused, at my own solitude. Imagine my surprise when you woke me. I woke you? I don't remember waking you. Oh, I know you didn't mean to. Yeah, I know. I know you were just playing around with portals, but whatever you did, I am here now, and I need your help. I wasn't playing with portals. The Atlas. It is not what you think it is. Something has happened, or is happening to the universe. Something I need your help to figure out. Well, I already knew the Atlas is not what it's trying to make me think it is. why they need my help. The Sentinels do not just keep the peace across the universe. Their motives run deeper than that. Seeking out anomalies in the multi multiversal structure and eliminating them from existence. Have you looked at me? What do you think a Sentinel would do if they came across my form? No, it has to be you, Traveler. There is an observatory nearby. It will lead you to the location of a crashed freighter of great interest to our investigation. There, there we will find the first secret. I am sure of it. Know that the Atlas is neither enemy nor friend to us. No more than the air or the wind might be called such names. But it is ter it is terrified. It is in pain. And we have a responsibility to help its suffering, no matter the cost. He wants to help the Atlas. I don't know if I trust Noel. Do you guys trust Noel? And if you do, let me know. I'd like to know. Hey, there's a word way over there. Let's go see what it is. Hey, 
Embrace. And we got more uh, buried salvage tech. Let's get that while we're here. Always use that. Now we need to go to the observatory. Wonder how far that is. Twelve hours by foot. Dang. These places are all like across freaking the planet. Bring news of Apollo to Nada. Alright, let's just go there first. Go meet up with Apollo and Nada. Or Nada and Apollo. Call in the space anomaly. I still have not been able to uh, get No Man's Sky updated that last patch they did and so I am still unable to connect to the network and unable to get any more new Quicksilver missions besides the one I've already had saved and last time I was here I I do believe I told you guys that we had unlocked, I do believe, the shark head. And I am still unable to uh, grab that because, yet again, not able to hook up to the dang network. None of my internet that I can use has been good enough, so I've kind of not been able to do it. Alright, Nada, how's it going? What's up? You are becoming more visible to Nada, traveler friend. Your eyes lend themselves to our small convergence. This makes Nada happy. Well, I'm glad to make you happy, Nada. Nada is not happy with other events. Artemis entity... Wait. Artemis entity perished in the portal. Portals are infected. Vector for corruption. Apollo entity will only spread corruption. Danger. Ask more. Atlas falsely watches the portals. Portals belong to them. Those who enter may belong to Atlas falsely. Great danger. Well, that is good to know, Nada. Thanks for warning me. And thanks for giving me 150 Quicksilver. Very much appreciated. Now let's talk to Polo. Hey, Polo. What's up, my little geck friend? Not a friend does not trust the portals. Scared of Rampacy, of the Crimson Hunter. But I do not fear in the same way. What might we discover, Traveler Friend? What might we learn from them? They have the same roots as you, as our home, as all this universe. Ask about fear. Nada is scared. We must lose our home, or we may lose our home. I am scared I will forget the world outside it. Do not let us forget, traveler friend. Yeah, cause you, you are trapped here, aren't you? That's sad. Poor little geck is trapped in here. Alright, let's, uh... Go over here real quick. I got blocked by a visible wall. To Groot. What's up, Groot? You gonna give me some nanites? Hey, ask about your past. It is not worth dwelling on, young one. What has come before and what may come ahead are what they are. It is too late for me now. Oh, Poor Groot. Alright, Ares. You gonna give me nanites? I did a. Uh, Make a new milestone, so give me nanites. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give 
trade-in milestone. You have seen much, but do you understand? Not for me to know. Please take this. You gave me uh, 150 nanites. Thank you. Very much appreciated. Now, off to the observatory. Alright, I will meet you guys there, unless something interesting happens. Okay, we are here at the observatory, after a... Eh, not too long of a flight, but it was a boring flight, nothing happened, so... You guys missed absolutely nothing. What you guys saw on my last flight around the planet was probably the same thing you guys would have saw, so... You, can, like I said, miss nothing. Alright, let's go into here. Anything I can grab off the walls? Negatory. I can grab something out of that. Alright, nav data. I don't... Ah! I keep forgetting there's people in here. Alright. Noel's prediction was correct. The terminal is curiously open. The log's ready for me to read. This observatory appears to have functioned as a salvage station. Manned by a Gek specialist. A translator. They were accused of questioning things that should not be questioned. Of sowing the seeds of dissent. This posting was meant as a punishment. But it appears that this posting was the make of the making of them. They found strange things in this in the wrecks, apparitions, data that spoke of worlds that do not exist and events that did not happen. That Gek went out to invest went out to investigate one such craft, the life signature of a Corvax still on board. They never returned. Can anyone guess who they're talking about? A Gek. And a Corvax. And they never returned. Nada and Polo. Is this how Nada and Polo met? Is this how my friends found each other? There is a signal on the console. A warning on repeat. 16 short bursts of data in a loop. Extract coordinates. I extract coordinates for the distress signal. A crash vessel awaits me. This must be the uh, freighter that um, Nada was on. Hey, Entity... I don't know what your name was. The lights in this electronic life form mass constrict, and they beam a moving image onto the inside of my visor. Corvax Convergent, help fabled traveler. Knowledge. Images of chemical formulae. Directional energy diagrams and micro-density devices dance inch inches from my eyes. The speed of the Entity's cog connection well, cognition and understanding is clearly far beyond my own. Uh, attempt to read data. My eyes whirl frantically as I attempt to keep up with the torrent of information. Eventually something sticks. I manage to pull out a series of instructions from the storm of data. Did all I get was nanites from that? Well, that's better than nothing. I'll take nanites. Alright, so off to the observer crash freighter, which is on the other side of the dang planet again. So I will meet you guys there, because nothing is going to happen. Alright, so that was about maybe six, seven seconds that you guys missed of me flying up over the atmosphere. 
And there is a crash freighter that smashed into the ground. Yeah, before I started recording the episode, I got into a freighter battle. Nice red and a black freighter. I think it might have actually been this kind of a model, too. And uh, it was a crappy C class, so I did not take it. Wreck of the Kitsuna 6. Crew manifest missing. Limited data available. I need an encryption key? What the f shit is that? This is... what? Alright, search crash site for secure containers. Well, this is new. They gave the, the a little bit more structure. That's cool. Before they didn't have uh, this kind of detailing in here. They didn't have like these doors. Why? Well, yeah, they didn't have these before. Yeah, that's new. Yeah, you used to have to dig these up. Okay, did I get a? Uh... Okay, I did. And they still put off radiation like they did before. Yeah, I know. Radiation. I'm getting out of here. Anything over here? What I get, what I get, what I get. Another encryption key. And more radiation, probably. Okay, I got the... What I need, it looks like. So now, this should, uh work. Yeah, I love how the new, uh, all the updates they do changes things that you're used to doing, and then you go and do it, and it changes on you. It's kind of cool. Alright. I do not know who will read this message. I do not know if anything will survive, but I must die as I lived. I will record it all even in the face of oblivion. The swarm came to every world. The drones acted erratically, not acting, just watching. Time passed and the sentinels did not seem so much of a threat anymore. They were peaceful now. We thought we had been forgiven. We were wrong. Continue. One encryption key. They struck us. One, or they struck as one, an attack somehow coordinated across unfathomable distances. With a fury exceeding all prior skirmishes, the Sentinels annihilated all biological life within the universe in a span of 54.2 standard minutes. So in less than an hour, they annihilated all biological life in the universe. Think of that. Now, most people would say the only biological life in the universe is on planet Earth, and well, but I think the whole universe is exploded with life. Only I remained. The Corvax stood with me in the end. To their credit, they concealed me within their flotilla as they headed towards the center. Looks like I need more encryption locks. Car keys, dang it. Who would have thought I would have needed more? Attack. Knowledge stone. Damage machinery. Alright, so I was already here. Any 
damaged parts I can get through. Okay. Okay, I can't, apparently can't go up that way. That's a bunch of crap. Is there any in the ground like I'm used to? Or did they get all moved? Cargo pod, there's one over there. Got to dig it up wherever it's at. I lost track of it. Now there it is. Come on, tell me this cargo pod. Comprise patching. Read log. They are coming now, and the screams of my friends resonate in every hall, every corner. The sentinels have found me. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. Wait. I told Nada to leave. I told them what we already know, all of us. We are not alone. Even if I die, Nada will find me again in another universe. Ten, just like me. A thousand. A million. We are not alone. For every soul is many. Even in the face of sixteen. We must declare that we lived. We existed. No matter the horror of the end. They are at my door. I. Error. Unexpected log termination. Alright. Well, this episode looks like it's gotten to the end. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And come back for the next episode. And with that being said, you all have a good night. Good afternoon, whatever is for you, and goodbye.